Hello, everyone. I'm Leslie Mallon, founder of the Work Life Principle, where we hope to lead you to success and life satisfaction and work success as well. Recently, of course, we're in COVID-19 and people are locked in and locked up and uncertain at every moment about what's going to happen. And what I'm seeing with my clients and colleagues as well is tremendous tenseness, anxiety, anger, feeling unsettled, um, a whole variety of experiences that sometimes are very shocking to them. And the first one would come under the rubric of tolerance to uncertainty, which really talks about how well we deal with things that are coming at us that we feel unprepared for, that we're not anticipating. And some of us are pretty good at that and resilient and able to bounce back and figure out other ways to do things. And other people become terrified and feel rigid. And sometimes what happens is they close their world down and they get really tight and judgmental and angry. And there are other ways of expressing these things as well. What I thought might be helpful was just some tips about people who are successful in managing their tolerance to uncertainty. Um, just to know that there are a number of things that you can do in the moment to catch yourself and get yourself more grounded. So the first one is actually to breathe. <laughs> and one of the best techniques for that is just to breathe in three long breaths and then to breathe out four breaths. And if you do that two or three times, what you're going to find out is that your whole body calms down. Your heart stops racing. Your mind stops twirling. So that's really helpful. Another thing is to be able to apologize because very often when we're in the states that many of us are finding ourselves in, we can snap at other people. We can get irritable or angry more frequently. And instead of holding it in, just to be able to say to people around you, gee, I'm really sorry that I acted like that, whatever it is. And when you apologize, you don't give a justification, just give a context so people can understand where you are at at the moment and perhaps ask them for something that would be helpful to you. Like when I'm working in my office, I'd appreciate that you don't come barging in to give me the news that a delivery came. Another thing that you can do certainly is exercise, which you know brings the you know the endorphins pumping, makes you feel better. Um, if you walk outside, you get to realize that there's still a, a sun outside. There are still trees. Everything's blooming. It'll make you feel so much better. Um, another thing that you can also do is to be thankful, to express gratitude to yourself. Like, I'm so grateful for the day. Uh, I'm grateful for my family. Um, or even directly to another person and tell them how you feel towards them in terms of being thankful and grateful um, because that will actually make you feel better. It'll make others feel better too, but it will definitely make you feel better. And that's the point is for us to feel more in charge of ourselves, to feel that we have some techniques to lessen the anxiety and the fear that many of us are feeling right now. So I hope some of those tips were helpful for you. Um, and that you can put them into action. My name is Leslie Mallon, founder of the Work Life Principle, where we bring you to your purpose, your passion, your authenticity, and your wisdom so you can express the truest and most filling and fulfilled image of yourself, both in your work and in your life. Thank you so much.